Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. The message I heard is, you have a way to make a living. Okay, we got two scriptures. The first scripture comes from Sirach 40. <clears throat> Death, bloodshed, strife, and sword, calamities, famine, suffering, and the scourge. All these things were created for the wicked, and because of them, the flood came. The second scripture comes from 1 Baruch 6 and 2. Because of the sins which you have committed before God, you will be led away captives by, to Babylon by Nebuchadnezzar, king of the Babylonians. So here's the message. For somebody, you see a lot of stuff going on around you, man. You see a lot going on and it's making you nervous. It's making you wonder what's really going on. It's making you um, think about your future and the future of maybe your offspring and you know what i'm saying You're thinking about all these plans that god has for you the promises that god has made to you what's going on god said that ain't got nothing to do with you all that stuff that's going on around that's going on around you it has nothing to do with you this is somebody whoever this is for not only does god say that you have a way to make a living but he is going to be consistently giving you new ideas of ways to make a living it's not gonna be a situation where you gonna be somewhere try to figure out how you go make a book it's not gonna be a situation where you're gonna be sitting around trying to figure out how you're gonna eat it's not gonna be a situation where you're gonna be sitting around trying to figure out this that and the third god said as for you <clears throat> he gonna make sure you good God said he going to make sure you good. He going to make sure you good. He going to make sure you good. All these things that's going on, all of these calamities, all of this, uh, the famine and all the stuff that's going on around us right now, these things are designated for those that love sin, the wicked. It don't have nothing to do with you. As far as God is righteous, yes, there will be weddings. They'll be dancing, they'll be singing, they'll be eating, they'll be drinking, they'll be laughter. God said it's not going to be a situation where you going to be in complete misery, okay? Along with all the people that's doing the sin and you ain't do nothing. You ain't had nothing to do with that. Why in the world would God involve you with a mess? So anyways... That's the message. God said he's not finna evolve you with they mess. That don't have nothing to do with you. They ain't got nothing to do with you. Like you, you gonna be good in the midst of all the turmoil that's going on around you. And that's the message. There, there, there will be a carry on. I'm being reminded of a message that I got a while back, y'all. Well, God was speaking to me about how there are some of his children that are nervous about what's going to happen when Jesus comes, when Jesus returns, what's going to happen, how is it going to be, what's going to, you know what I'm saying? God said he has no intent of destroying the entire earth. It's not a situation where everybody going to be destroyed, but God is dealing with people. God is dealing with people. And, you know, um, I've seen myself, whereas we are living in a time that looks so similar to Sodom and Gomorrah, and it's scary. Some people don't even recognize the times that we live in. But God say it's not going to be a situation where his righteous and holy children are going to fall with those that are living in a sinful manner. Just like God saved Noah. God saved light. 
and his knowing his family, lot in his family, it's not going to be a situation where God is going to allow anybody that is living their life in a righteous manner to go down with the group of people that's doing all they they the ones that's uh ramping and raving and acting a fool. That's their portion. They ain't got nothing to do with you. That ain't got nothing to do with you. God does not want to see his children suffering. God does not want to see his creation suffering. Like, it's not a situation where God does not see you specifically. I'm being reminded of the story of Tobit where it talks about his son and his son's wife. God was looking onto that situation into the morning that Tobit was going through. As well as the morning of the son's wife and what she was going through. And God brought them together and saw both problems. Two and one. Thinking about the story of Susanna. Susanna felt as if she was a, a lost cause. Just because she didn't want to uh, bust it open for somebody that, you know what I'm saying, that thought they had some kind of power and some kind of authority. And if she don't bust her legs open for them, then they going to do this, that, and the third. God shut that down. He saw that. He jumped into Daniel. A little boy, Daniel was a little boy at this time, jumped into Daniel, and Daniel handled that. And I'm just saying this to say, if you are, I like, I know there are a lot of people that God is saying, sheep living amongst wolves right now. Ain't no need for you to be scared. Ain't no need for you to be worried. Ain't no need for you to be concerned. Ain't no need for you to be in mourning. Ain't no need, like, you may you may have to experience, you know what I'm saying, while you are navigating through these, 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 these streets, this world, there are going to be people to the left of you, to the right of you, that may be going through things. But what did God say? It may fall to your left, it may fall to your right, but it's not going to touch you. God, like, just because you see somebody over here, they going through this, this person going through that, and that person, God said, that ain't going to touch you. That's not your portion. <clears throat> it's okay for you to be sad for that person. It's okay for you to be in mourning for that person. But in reality, that ain't going to touch you. It's not your portion. God said, for somebody, you are taking on the things that are happening to other people as if they are your own. God said, they are not your own. And just because that happened to them people don't mean it's going to fall on you. That ain't your portion. And that's the message. That ain't your portion. Just because it happened over there and over there don't mean it's going to happen right there. God says it's not for you. It's not for you to feel that 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 pain and that agony and that sadness. God doesn't want you to be going through these things. God doesn't want you to have to deal with these things. God said he wants you to be in a season of celebration. And when he say that, he mean it. And um, sometimes, like I said, sometimes there will be people that are going through things that we can't help but to be affected by it. But God is saying that in reality, it's not even your portion. And it's okay. But, um, yeah. Yeah. I'm being reminded of when I did Bible study years ago about um, Zion, where God talks about the, uh, the place where he's going to bring his people. It's not going to be a situation where God is just going to destroy everything. We have to understand that God is so merciful. And he loves us so much. Somebody could do sin over and over and over again. And God would just shake his head and be like, mm. And he lead him. But then at the same time, when God decides that he's going to shake some stuff up, he is going to look around who is wicked and who is not. He's going to separate the wheat from the weeds. And when he does that, you cannot imagine that he's just going to be like, you know what, I'm going to destroy the whole crop. No, he's not. He's going to separate the wheat from the weeds. 
and he's going to get rid of the weeds. And he's going to do this by his own hand, by his own might, depending on what he want to do and how he want to do it. But it's not a situation where you need to be sad and nervous and scared and wondering what it is that God is going to do to you. If you ain't do nothing, why in the world would God be doing anything to you? Like, some of y'all really be um, stressing yourself out, talking about you don't know if God forgave you, God won't forgive you, God won't forgive you. As soon as you repent, God has forgiven you. Ain't no need for you to, like, keep stressing day in, day out about something you did two, three, four, five years ago. God forgot about it already. You the one that's stressing yourself out about it. You have basically placed yourself in your own prison. For no reason. Don't do that. God has already forgiven you. And that's for somebody. Just because things are happening to other people don't mean it's going to touch you. <clears throat> Sometimes God is trying to show them something. Anyways, that's the message. God said it's not a situation where his children are going to fall to the same, like these calamities and things. That's the message, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.